The day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Sunday, October 17, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Los Angeles Rams vs New York Giants. On top of that, the Rams feature the best non-quarterback player in the league in Aaron Donald, plus the best quarterback in Jalen Ramsey. Their defense is tough, physical, and suffocating, and the team is just too aggressive on both sides of the ball. They're not who you want to meet when you're banged up. The Giants' defense has been far worse than advertised, and they haven't been able to move the chains consistently either. They're sitting at a 1-4 record and have to meet the Panthers, Chiefs, and Raiders before their Week 10 bye, so we don't like their chances to get any better right now. Our first betting advice is to pick Los Angeles Rams minus 10. Running back Devontae Booker started in place of Barkley, rushing 16 times for just 42 yards. Tony had 10 receptions for 189 yards before suffering an ankle injury. The Giants rank number 12 offensively, 380.6 YPG, but those numbers are going to drop if key players remain sidelined. Head coach Joe Judge said Jones is on track to return on Sunday from his concussion, so that will be something for betters to monitor. Jones has completed 64.3% of his passes for 1,282 yards and four touchdowns. He is also the team's top rusher with 30 carries for 197 yards. They will be facing a Rams defense that has declined since last season, ranked number 23 in the NFL, with 388.2 yards allowed per contest. They rank number 13 in scoring defense, though. Our second betting advice is to pick under 47.5. Cincinnati Bengals vs Detroit Lions. Burrow is expected to play after having a precautionary trip to the hospital after last week's loss to the Packers. The second-year quarterback got hit in the throat at some point, and it affected his ability to talk. Burrow, who is playing on his surgically repaired left knee, has been sacked an average of three times per game in his career. Bengals running back Joe Mixon had just 10 carries for 33 yards last week, has continued to recover from an ankle sprain, and is expected to be given a larger workload at Detroit, with Burrow ailing a bit. Goff posted a 64.3 passer rating, while going 21 for 35 for 203 yards. Wide receiver Quintus Cephas left in the second quarter with a shoulder injury and didn't return. He landed hard while being tackled as he tumbled out of bounds after a 21-yard reception. He is not expected to play on Sunday. Our first betting advice is to pick Detroit plus 3.5. The Lions rank number 24 offensively, averaging 339.6 yards per game. Quarterback Jared Goff has completed 66.8% of his attempts for 1,303 yards and 7 touchdowns. He has thrown three interceptions and been sacked 14 times, but only one of those interceptions has come in his last three games. Running backs Jamal Williams and Dander Swift have carried the load. Williams has rushed for 244 yards, averaging 4.4 yards per carry. Swift has added 190 rushing yards and tops the team in receiving yards, 252. Tight end TJ Hawkinson has caught 24 passes for 237 yards and two touchdowns. They are going up against a Cincinnati defense that is number 12, allowing 351.6 yards per game. Our second betting advice is to pick under 47. Quick reminder, BetUS is a platform that offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, BetUS allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join BetUS now using our link down below and get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on the sportsbook after you open an account and deposit using our link and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES. 
Los Angeles Chargers vs Baltimore Ravens. Herbert had another great game, going 26 for 43 for 398 yards and four touchdowns and zero interceptions for a quarterback rating of 122. Oh yeah, he also rushed for 29 yards and a touchdown. Mike Williams was his favorite target, as Williams caught eight passes for 165 yards and two touchdowns. Eckler rushed for 66 yards and two touchdowns, and also caught five passes for 53 yards and a touchdown. Keenan Allen caught six passes for 75 yards, while Donald Parham also caught a touchdown pass. Overall, the Chargers had 493 total yards. The Chargers come into this game Sunday pretty healthy. The only questionable player for Sunday's game against the Ravens is defensive tackle Justin Jones. Our first betting advice is to pick Baltimore Ravens minus 2.5. The Ravens' defense has been inconsistent. They surrendered 513 total yards against the Colts and especially have trouble defending the pass, standing 29th in the league, while the rush defense is 7th. Baltimore is scoring an average of 27.2 points, good for 9th in the NFL. They are conceding an average of 23.4 points, placing them 14th overall. The Los Angeles defense is mediocre at best. They surrendered over 500 yards to the Browns last week. The pass defense has been solid, coming in at 7, however, the rush defense continues to be exploited, ranking last in the NFL. Joey Bosa leads the team with 2.5 sacks. The Chargers are scoring an average of 28.4 points, good for 6th in the league. The defense is allowing an average of 23.2 points, landing them at 12th in the NFL. Our second betting advice is to pick over 51.5. Minnesota Vikings vs Carolina Panthers. Minnesota is 9th in the NFL in points allowed with an average of 21.8 per game. The Vikings are allowing 368.8 yards per game with 130.0 yards rushing and 238.8 yards passing per game. The Vikings are allowing an average of 4.7 yards per carry and 6.6 .6 yards per play. Minnesota linebacker Eric Kendricks has 55 tackles to lead the Vikings, while defensive end Danielle Hunter has a team-best 6.0 quarterback sacks. As a team, the Vikings have intercepted only three passes and three different players each have intercepted one. Our first betting advice is to pick Carolina Panthers plus three. Chuba Hubbard leads the team with 220 rushing yards in five games on 3.9 yards per attempt. Running back Christian McCaffrey is questionable for Sunday with a hamstring injury after missing the last two games, edit, he's now declared out. In the three games he has played, McCaffrey is averaging 3.9 yards per attempt with 201 yards. McCaffrey has also caught 16 passes for 163 yards. DJ Moore leads the team with 440 receiving yards, 35 catches, and has caught three touchdown passes. Our second betting advice is to pick over 